today we're going to kick it up a notch and try the OG Spanx and then a newcomer on the scene, Honey Love. I hate this thing. I want to get it off yesterday. I don't understand what you're wearing this brief with. Whoa. Whoa, from the <laughs> side. Oh my gosh. Hello and welcome back to Clever Style. Hello. Today we are back to explore an article of clothing that can be treacherous, kind of controversial, shapewear. Ooh. Ooh, yes. So we are back with another foray into shapewear. If you guys can recall, I've actually done this on this channel before, but the last time we did it, we compared the ultra popular, everybody wants to get their hands on brand, Skims versus a much more affordable option, Fashion Nova. And you better believe we had some thoughts. Body suit to the side and, and it like, just, yeah. Right? That was real yeah. classy. So today we're going to kick it up a notch and try two brands that are a little bit on the higher end, the OG Spangs that everybody knows, and then a newcomer on the scene, Honey Love. I personally had never heard of Honey Love until Bridget kept saying it over and over again. We're like, what is Honey Love? What is yeah. this Honey Love you speak of? What is it, Honey? Honey Love is honestly my new love. Uh, I was browsing the internet as one does, and I found the shapewear and I was like, I've seen it everywhere, I have to try it. I wore it in the wedding guest dress under 100 under my first dress. I've never felt more comfortable in a shapewear. Like, I would live and die for it. So I'm really excited for you guys to try it, but I've also never tried Spanx. I used to wear a Spanx when I was trying to hide my pregnancy from all of you guys. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it did. I hate shapewear. I think shapewear <laughs> should go somewhere and die. Leave me in peace. I hate shapewear. Not on other people, like live your life, live your truth. But for me personally, as a curvy girl, shapewear makes me like a potato pancake. Like I feel like I am like a smushed, like Gumby version of myself in shapewear. All of my curves go away and they come out of weird places. You know, like the curves, they're here, but all of a sudden they're here. And you're like, what? where did I get a curve there? And it's cause your butt curve comes up to your armpit curve cause of Spanx. Shapewear, it's treacherous. Uh -huh. So if one of these Spanx beats the honey love, like I'll definitely tell you. So I'm really excited to put these two head to head because maybe I'll find a new true love. I thought you just what? said a neutral love. Have I you? also think you said mentory instead of mentory. <laughs> Are you mental, cuz? Okay, so in order for us to really truly put these two brands head to head, we have three categories. We're gonna try on a similar style from each brand in each category with the clothes that we would be wearing the shapewear with. So we have a high-waisted brief, a short, and a bodysuit. Well, right now, I have circulation moving in my body, but who's to say in the next few minutes when we get changed if that will be the case? We're gonna kick this off with Spanx. This is their high-waisted brief option. It runs $68. And all of us are wearing it in different sizes. Sinead and I are wearing, both wearing a small. And Bridget, you're wearing it in a- I'm in a large. In a large. So I think it's interesting to see how it's on all of us so differently. Like I can tell it looks so good on you and what you're wearing. Like I can't see it at all. Yeah. This is also a pretty thick material. All the items I brought to try on the shapewear are dresses because that's when I would wear shapewear. The only problem with this one is because it is a brief, like it cuts here. Like you can yeah. see this. Yeah. And like the butt is definitely not flattering. Like I would want to like yank it up my butt so it was a thong, you know? Yeah. But up here, I do think it's very comfortable. I'm not like suffocating. Yeah, I really had to tuck it under my bra just for safety, but throughout the day, I don't know what would happen. You know? If it would roll down. Yeah. You really have to try them on, I think, because you don't know what size you're gonna wear in shapewear. It's not the same as normal clothes. Yeah, and it depends like if you really want it to be like, in, you could go down a smaller size, but if you just wanted to smooth it out normally, you could mm. probably get your normal size. But I also feel like shapewear is something you have to one, try on, and two, wear it for a couple hours to really get the feel of it. You know, like, could you breathe? Is it rolling down? Like, are you uncomfortable? My only complaint is that it's a brief and not a thong, really. I hate these so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand like what you're wearing this with. This is a, such a weird shape. First of all, it's cutting into my thigh so hard. It's actually just like giving me the weirdest like ass I've ever seen. I don't understand what you're wearing this brief with. How does this work in clothing? I don't understand. I'm so damn confused. <laughs> 
I do think it would roll down. I think you're right about like maybe needing a different size because this is really, really loose up here for me, but everything else is nice and I don't feel like I'm dying inside of it, but I don't know what this is. They just shouldn't make them in this brief cut because are you wearing it with Hands. That's what like, I'm saying. Are you, what are you wearing? And you this wouldn't way? wear it with a flowy dress. I mean, you might wear it with a flowy dress. I personally wouldn't. So I just think they should just not make briefs at all. <laughs> I think it's for dresses that are like super fitted here, but and maybe flare, flare out. out on the mm -hmm. bottom. And you still want to have that security, but you want your legs free so you don't get caught like a fish in a net, you know, tripping. I think it's sexy when I'm naked with just the Spanx, but when I put clothes on, I hate my body. It looks so bad. I feel like all of my butt is has now moved its way up and I'm more like a square, like I mentioned earlier. Um, okay, so as far as the tummy control of it all and like the, you know, sucking everything in, I think it's doing a great job without making me feel very uncomfortable. I feel like I can't breathe. The material is very like light and soft when you put it on. Matt, and these like clasp in the crotch. Clasps are such a pain when you're wearing shapewear because it's so impossible to pull the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be so nice if shapewear had like a zipper or something? something that you could just like when you go to the bathroom all you have to do is unzip it versus buttons like buttons are the worst yeah i think zipper just it makes me a little bit nervous being that <laughs> i just didn't think about those heart. details <laughs> okay now we've transformed into wearing our honey love super power brief cost 79 dollars shanae and i both are wearing it in a small bridge is wearing it in a large mm -hmm. it is a very different kind of shapewear experience. Mm -hmm. I was kind of skeptical that all of these would look and feel the same. To me, this feels completely different than the Spanx did. For me personally, I feel like this is made of different types of materials mm -hmm. in different places. It's constructed very differently where the Spanx was kind of like one piece of fabric that mm -hmm. sucks you in. There's boning, there's like a lighter pantyhose type of material, there's thicker material. There's a lot of other things going on with this brief than the other one. Why that is, is on the website, they say the material is like almost like an X. So it's supposed to like suck you in or like control it in that way. Yeah, I feel like this gives me a little more of a waist because of that fact, because it's not one piece of material just smushing. I think there's more room for your body to be a real normal shaped body. It's not quite as high waisted as the Spanx one was. I feel like it kind of stops right here where the Spanx was a little loose, it could roll. But I think with that, you could also pull it up or pull it down. You don't really have that customizable option with this one. Um, and it doesn't cut me as much because the Spanx right in here has a really tight seam. And this one doesn't feel as tight. It's like a totally different material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you guys feel in it? I definitely like this one a little better, I think, because it does not cut us off like the other one was cutting us off. It does kind of feel a little bit more diapery though than yeah, the other one. I was gonna say, this feels really bulky. Yeah, it's like, yeah. A, I feel like I have a toilet paper stuck in my butt. Like yeah. no one told me. <laughs> In comparison to the Spanx, yes, this isn't cutting me off as much. It still is, but like not as bad. It's just the brief is just kind of a weird style for a bodycon. But in terms of what the brief is supposed to do, which is flatten out this and all that kind of stuff, I don't feel like this is really doing what it's supposed to do on me. I don't have a lot to work with here. Don't take away the little that I do. I think this one took away the curves that I have. Like I think this one made me more of a, like a rectangle. Yeah. than more like accentuating what I would want to than the Spanx did. It's too thick. I can see it's it. It's too thick. It's way too bulky. It's way too thick. I can 100%. see all the different designs. I can see the boning. I can see the trim, the seams. It's like I can see where it like changes. Here's all the boning. I can see it changes here and then you go into the leg part. I don't know. So out of these two, would you guys prefer the Spanx or do you prefer this one? Brief. Spanx honey love options are not really my thing. Maybe I'd like it better in a thong, but if I had to choose this round, it would probably be the honey love. I think I would have to go with the Spanx even though I freaking hated them, only because if I'm wearing this all night, I will feel this all night. It's so bulky and it's like heavy. So I would say I prefer the honey love to the Spanx and for my body type and what I want them for, I like want to feel it. I want to know that it's doing its job and it's like sucking me in where I need Needed to, so I don't mind that I can feel it. All right, so obviously the briefs are not for me, but we have shorts next, so fingers crossed that this is much better. All right, so 
So, round two. I just pictured like Donkey Kong in my head. Yes. Round two. two. It is the shorts round. We are wearing Spanx right now. They are $88, they're high waisted. They are a very, 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 very long shorts. I don't know, I think they're really comfortable. I think they actually do a little bit of like a mm -hmm. butt Your butt looks they really do. Whoa. Whoa, from the <laughs> side. Oh my gosh, Nate, I've never Get seen you shot. like this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Make it talk! Because the shapewear doesn't just shape in the midsection, it actually shapes the thigh as well, that it does create what I want out of shapewear, which is to accentuate my curves while also smoothing out any lines mm. and not take away the butt. Because a lot of the times with shapewear, it does exactly what it's supposed to do in the midsection, but it doesn't do a lot for your butt. And I definitely think that these do. From this angle, you look like that Kim Kardashian photo. <laughs> Literally the same thing. Yeah, I think these are actually really, really comfortable. When I was putting them on, I was like, am I like doing the Tour de France? Like they're so thick. I don't know what happened there. So I never even thought really about shapewear can shape your butt too. Like yeah. I'm always worried about here. And so these really make me feel like I have some sort of like lift as well. I think they're really long, but I think- You look like you a do. cyclist. Do you I? Do. You're ready to like mount up and to go on an hour long journey up Mount Everest. Do you feel like you could work out in these? Yes! Like editor, please put me on a bike <laughs> with some cool like shades. <laughs> I don't love them. They're no. fine. They're fine. I'm like Bridget. I would like the black pair to just work out in maybe sort of, but I have like weird leg muffin tops. <laughs> what is happening well, here? Well, look, look at mine too. It's like, look yeah, how long their they're pants on so today. <laughs> Long. My grandma used to wear shorts like pants like this. She called them clam diggers. Yeah. I can understand why people would love this length because a pencil skirt is like usually tight all the way through until the bottom. Another thing these would be good for, especially in this like nude color, would be if you had a pair of like white slacks or white pants, like palazzo pants in there. You can see your underwear. You have yeah. a lot of like wiggle room in there. This is already a little bit better than the last round for me personally, but we still have one more shorts to try. So let's go put on the Honey Love. All right, we're back in our second pair of shorts. These are from Honey Love. Honestly, the price difference is like a dollar between the two, 88 and $89. These are definitely a little bit shorter than the Spanx, similar to the briefs. It's a different material up here. Also, it's two different materials materials in one short. This sheer mesh, mm -hmm. compression mesh type thing. I do feel like I would need to like pull it up. I feel like there's like a lot of space between Same. my mm -hmm. vagina and the edge of the shorts. I think it's because these are structured in so many different panels. Because they are made with different pieces of fabric, when you pull up one, it, the whole thing doesn't move, which mm -hmm. could be a good thing or a bad thing if it doesn't fit your body perfectly. Oh yeah, we should <laughs> mention these are a snap closure. Like there's just a hole in your crotch. So when you had to go to the bathroom, are you wearing underwear with these? Then you have to. No. I mean, I I don't think what? I want anything more. No. So that there's just a your vagina's just exposed the whole night. Sinead, this is coming from a girl who used to <laughs> duct tape her vagina. Yes, you just no underwear. Say what? But I do think these are a hell of a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. in terms of bulkiness and thickness than the briefs were. Mm -hmm. The briefs felt like, you said, a bulletproof vest. This, I don't necessarily feel like that. I think it's because there's more mesh in this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's still thick up here on the sides. It's got the bony, but it doesn't feel like I'm as like, ugh, in this. Can you make a booty talk in this one? It's not, not speaking as, much. as loudly, no. Well, you know, then my decision's made, obviously. I would have to go with the Spanx for this round. I honestly, um, prefer the Spanx to these ones. I feel like there's too much going on in the yeah. legs of it all. Like, I feel like I have more like crevices. There's a lot of fabric here, so maybe I could mm. just there's like get another size, yeah. but I don't think so. I think it's, for me, it's just too much fabric in for this particular style. I actually prefer these over the Spanx because I feel, first of all, I don't have muffin top knees. <laughs> Second of all, I like that it, again, 
gives me certain support in certain places. Mm -hmm. Like it's not the same support all the way down. Yeah. And for someone who is curvy and you don't want all of your curves to be smushed, I think this structure and design in this particular short set is so much more of what I would go for. All right, so we have one more round of Spanx vs. Honey Love and we are doing a bodysuit. <laughs> So we are in our last round and we are wearing the Spanx bodysuit. So a few things you should know about this. When they say bodysuit, they give you the body, but then your boobs are out. Mm -hmm. So you do have the option to wear a bra, which I am, or you don't have to and you can kind of just let them hang out. But visually, it comes up to like here, the Spanx, and I can already tell you that I would not do this. If you're gonna tell me it's a bodysuit, cover my boobs. It's the literal last part of my body. Like I want a one strap deal. Like no, I'm over it. And that's on period. I hate this thing. I want to get it off yesterday. Yeah, it is really uncomfortable up here, isn't it? It's so uncomfortable. The way it like cuts this way. Like it's so yeah. far this yeah. way that it's very uncomfortable. It is so far. I also like hurt myself. And again, like the briefs, which I thought I had blacked out of my uh, memory. I put these on and it just came flooding back, giving me my weird um, like extra growth on my thigh, which is really just my thigh. Oh yeah, no, 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 you're back, no, 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 no. Hey, like yeah. this doesn't look right. <laughs> you don't even look like a real body. You look like you're trying to grow your lower uh, butt fat. Like, yes, you're like, it's, it's really just not good. Again, it cuts off in a weird place. Whoever's buying this is not wearing it with a bodycon dress. Like they're wearing it with an A-line dress or whatever, it's fine, I get it. It just isn't as comfortable regardless of that. No, like, I like this hurts. What do you wear with it? Like, like, why do you have a need for this? This is like a short sleeve Ariana Grande style dress where you want your boobs to be a little bit more um, oh, accentuated and then right. th this goes out up. here. Clearly, this is not for anything down below. Well, we have one more to try on. It's the Honey Love and good news, it's gonna cover the boobs. So I Thank think- the Lord. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, we are in our last shapewear, Honey Love. Bodysuit, covers the boobs, so soft, not too tight, I'm in love, rip the tags off, take it at home, no underwear here, baby. I love this one. What she said. Yeah, this is nice. I actually like it. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. It was in her own world there for a I moment. was. <laughs> it's still doing this weird like cutoff thing, but not as bad, but like still a little bit, but like also I wouldn't be wearing it with this type of dress. It still kind of like accentuates boobs, which is nice. You guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah. I love it in the black. Oh my Honestly, God, you should wear this as a bathing suit. I love this actually on its own. Like I don't think I like it as it's like as shapewear. Like forget that for me. But I think on the beach, you That's know, really cute. With like a little pinup moment or with a cocktail. I love this on its own. I like that on its own too. I like it on its own. I think with clothes, I still don't love it as much. <laughs> I want to be naked in my shapewear. Nikki is Nikki. To me, this is everyday shapewear. I could wear this to work. I could wear it going out and still feel the comfort and the control I need, but I'm not going to feel like out of breath and by the end of the day be like, want to rip it off. Like mm -hmm. I would wear this under this dress, like specifically. I love it. Do you remember when we did the skims and we were like, oh my gosh, are we dying? Am I still alive? For both of these brands today, I will say like, I felt like I could breathe the whole way through. I think all of these come down to the dress, the outfit that you're wearing with mm -hmm. it, you know, and your ideal level of comfort. Some things are more uncomfortable than others. Sometimes pain is beauty, ladies and gents. We all know that to be true. I think with shapewear, you've just gotta go try it on, unfortunately, and see what really works for you and your body type. But I do think Honey Love is a pretty solid option. I've had several rounds, including this round, mm -hmm is really like my favorite. I think I might prefer it over Spanx in some of the different cuts, which is pretty surprising because yep. Spanx is the go-to shapewear company. I basically I'm not getting any brand deals with Spanx, but Honey Love, call me. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think in this round, it's Honey Love over Spanx. 100%, like let's be real. Agree, agree. I will wear this all the time. This is gonna be my new go-to shapewear for day to day, honestly. All right, so thinking about this shapewear journey, what were your guys' favorite pieces? Has to be the Honey Love shorts for me. I don't love this bottom. I would never wear this bottom. You can see all of the, you can tell I'm wearing shapewear. Not interested in that shapewear. You're supposed to not even be able to see it. The closest thing in this video I got to were those Honey Love shorts and even those, 
I'm like, it has to be the right thing at the right time. Yeah, I think my favorite is definitely this bodysuit. I think it covers all that I need. I don't have to wear a bra. It comes with one in it. it. I'm one and done. Really, I don't have to worry about like muffin topping up here. This personally for me and what I wear shapewear for is perfect. I think in terms of shapewear, this is definitely like the best piece. I really liked those Spanx shorts just because I feel like I'll wear them as like bicycle shorts as well. I know shapewear is not the most affordable item in your closet. It is a good investment if you have a lot of outfits that are similar similar cuts that you would just like a little extra support in. I do think you can get multiple uses out of it. Yeah, shapewear, like Erin said, can be really expensive. I've tried the really cheaper brands that are maybe $10, $15, and those are the ones I end up taking off and throwing away at weddings. This that I would wear every day to pay the $89 for it, I think it's worth it because I am gonna wear it every day and it's a piece I will have. So I don't mind spending money on items like that. Shapewear is one of those things, I don't think it's ever gonna be 100% mm -hmm. for everybody because everybody is so different. Everyone has different uses for shapewear. So I think we found some good pieces from each, but we all didn't collectively love one over the other. Right. Think. And if you guys liked any of the pieces that we did try on, of course we will link them below. And also leave any other shapewear that you're curious about because I definitely want to try it on. Yes, drop that down in the comments below. And then when you are done with that, of course, there's more where this came from. If you haven't checked out our last shapewear competition, uh, definitely check that out too. And then click right over here for even more clever stuff. Or you can click right here. <laughs> yeah, Below. just depending on which one they do. <laughs>